Ooh, this is perfect. It hides my greasy hair today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. We all love the idea of luxury ready to wear, but we can't always afford it. And even for myself, I only pick and choose and buy very, very selected pieces, which I have right here in this beautiful bag. Aside from that, there's a bunch of really cute clothing right behind me. As per usual, I'm gonna style every single piece for you. We'll go over each and every piece. I'll tell you which one is my favorite. And of course, I have to unbox my Chanel purchases too. There is another one right here and we will style everything together. Okay, the first two items I am wearing. This cute little headband, actually it's not that little, it's pretty thick, um, is in this tweed fabric from Urban Revival. So all these pieces behind me, all these cute fashion little pieces are from urban revival i have featured them once already and i introduced you guys to some really really cute chanel inspired pieces i hope you guys got your hands on some of them because they are very very cute and they sell out very quickly and they're so affordable if you really wanted to you can even add a brooch because like i said this is a nice thick tweed fabric, which you're not gonna damage it. I will say though, because I'm trying to be as objective as possible, that the finishing on the headband, like at the ends, they're not as great. It feels a little rough. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't hurt, but I just feel like the finishing could be better. That's the only thing that I can say about this headband, but otherwise, the rest of the headband is really, really cute, and I quite like it, so. Yeah, let's leave it on my head of hair because you don't need to see greasy hair. <laughs> there we go. The rest of them are all clothing. And so yes, I'm wearing this little crop number and it's so darn cute. I love the black trims. I know a lot of ladies out there have a gaping issue on their bus. You don't have to fret for this one because these are fake buttons. It's like a little t-shirt, but it looks like a little cute cardigan, cropped little cute cardigan, and the material is so good. So yeah, I'll go by the order of the favorites, and of course, um, I will put me trying them on the very first time I received them. I just took them all out and tried them on one by one, and so you can see how it looks on me. Another little crop top, except this one is not as crop as this one. This one has a slightly bit more length, and this one is an actual cardigan, which is great because it's more versatile, you can use it as a cardigan, and this cute color is just perfect. I've already wore this a few times, the buttons are always amazing on Urban Revival items. By the way, if you're not familiar, they do have physical stores, mostly in Asia. This fabric also is very comfortable, very breathable, and I just love the cutting of this one. It's slightly boxier, but on a crop side. And so it's very, very flattering. This next two you probably have seen if you have seen my previous styling video. I just wanted to point them out because if you haven't gotten your hands on these two yet, because I think these are my favorite from the last haul, you have to get your hands on it. This little cardigan and this little cardigan, they're so classic and just so flattering. By the way, I take everything in a size small, and um, I will say sizing-wise, there is maybe a bit of discrepancy depending on the piece, and so your best bet is to just look at how it fits on the model, but in general, I feel like size small does work for me, so I will mention if there is an exception. This one right here is super cute, definitely, definitely for the summer. It's also uh, more tight fitting, so it's more bodycon. And uh, yeah, these are actually real buttons. On a very, very hot summer day, I love the color and the fabric. These are exceptional quality. This is what I mentioned in my last video where I was very, very blown away by the prices, the styles, but mostly the quality for what you get. Hence why I rave about these pieces. And yes, I know they're not like luxury ready to wear, but they are super cute and they're very well made. So I feel like they will still last a long, long time and I will get a lot of wear out of them. Another piece that is fake buttons. So these are, um, this is not a real cardigan. It's just a pull over. This one is a size small, but I do find that this one fits a bit um, loose on me. So uh, it's not like super, super loose, but it's slightly loose. So I could have probably sized down on this one just to have a more fitted look. The buttons on this one 
which is what really got me, are so, so pretty. Look at that. The last cardigan, and then we move on to some dresses, is right here. And this one is so fitting because it has hearts. And of course, every single fashion house is doing hearts. So yeah, see, it has hearts here. I got it in a size small, but I will say it's sort of like more oversized um, horizontally. And therefore, it does give you that look of more relaxed, kind of casual look. So if you want a more fitted look, do size down on this one. But it will be on the shorter side because it's not super long, right? So I feel like this one, um, possibly you can just size down. It's more of a thicker material as well. This one is my favorite. Why? Because it's red and it's white. And in fact, this tweed is really, really intricate. There's even a gold thread running through it. And here are the buttons. Usually I'm a size extra small or even double extra small in North America, but this is an Asian brand. Therefore, I just don't want to take my chances. I go with the small and even if they fit a bit big, it's just slightly big. So that's the situation right here. I would say if you do like this dress and you want a more fitted look, do consider sizing down because for me, the bust area and the um, waist area was uh, a bit loose. But an easy fix, which I will do, is I will just move the buttons over a little bit. Next, we have this again very very cute tweed dress this one i could actually wear now but i just don't have an occasion to wear so this is a really beautiful tweed black and white with black trims this one definitely oversized i will say if you want a more fitted look definitely size down it is however more of a winter style i would say like it's more of a cooler weather type of material uh, I mean, it's not super thick, but because it's long sleeve. Oh, by the way, this one has a zipper on the side. And so you still have to kind of loop through the dress from the, from the bottom. But it does have this zipper opening right here to give you space to loop through your arms and everything. We have this very casual dress with fake shirt details. So it's sewn on. The sleeves too, they are sewn on. So you can't remove the sleeves. You can't remove the bottom skirt part, but you can remove the um, the lapel part because the lapel has buttons. And it's just a very casual piece, a bit more oversized definitely uh, because it is the style and it's perfect for just running errands on your lazy day. Moving on to this one. So this is a denim dress. And I don't know if you can tell, it's a denim material, so it has a bit more structure. It does have a bit of stretch as well because the waist is actually fitted. And it has these puff sleeves. The closure is actually in the back with a hidden zipper closure. If you love the look of puffy sleeves and more fitted at the waist and just a bit flared out A line on the bottom, um, then this dress is for you. You can also consider this one. It is made with the exact same denim material. So here we have the bustier and it's like a little tank uh, bustier crop top. It has a zipper closure in the back. This is a cute little number to wear on its own. You don't even have to get the skirt, but if you wanna get the skirt also, then you can also match it. So this is the denim skirt. Again, it also has pockets right here. And um, yeah, it's just like a denim material. It does have some stretch. Sizing wise, I do feel that this is true to size. This was fine. It was a true to size on me. Um, this one is also true to size. And again, I took everything in a size small, so I don't have to size down or anything with this. But with the skirt, I feel that it's a little oversized on me. Right. Up next, we have this blue dress. This one is a little bit more serious. And I thought I liked the buttons. And I like that this part here is kind of like a sweetheart neckline. I don't know if you see it here. It's sort of a sweetheart neckline, very, very subtle. The buttons are very pretty, pearl buttons. So here, here's a close-up. 
And this tweed is, again, a blue tweed with kind of like a iridescent fiber going through it. It's not quite silver, it's just a little iridescent. It has these four pockets right here. And it's just a very cute sort of going to work dress. It's very simple. The zipper closure here is in the back. And this one is, um, this one is true to size. Yeah, it is true to size, but it does have shoulder pads like slightly. So it does kind of give you that more squared look on your shoulders. And last but not least, we have a very, very festive yellow color. And this is uh, also a pullover. It's elasticated in the waist. It has a lot of frill details. It has these big balloon sleeves also elasticated here on the wrist area. And yeah, it's just a cute summer dress. Very, very happy color. And here's the fabric. It just has that almost like vintage hobo fabric. And it's very, very comfortable. And so yeah, this is probably one of the more summery dress. This was an item that my friend helped me purchase in France, hence the packaging as well as even the holiday um, the holiday trims, the holiday camellia and the holiday ribbons. So, so very thoughtful of this friend. You know who you are. Thank you so much for your help. And yeah, thank you so much for always looking out for your girl. <laughs> it is a pre-love piece, yes. But nevertheless, a really amazing a ready to wear piece from Chanel. Are you guys ready? I'm gonna reveal it. Another jacket or a t-shirt. What is it? A tank top? It's actually perfect for the weather right now and actually it will be perfect for most of the year except for winter because it gets a bit too staticky. <gasps> wow! So this is a nylon windbreaker jacket from Chanel and it doesn't look like much but wait till I style it. It's so versatile. You don't have to get everything super intricate at Chanel, right? Get pieces that you can wear on a daily basis. This I can wear at the supermarket. I could also dress it up. Let me just share with you some of the amazing details on this jacket. Like I said, it is an old jacket. Chanel plaque on the sleeve. So cool, right? It has this nylon quilting throughout and it does have the iconic Chanel buttons. Look at these buttons. They are just spectacular. It's just beautiful. And these are actually snap buttons. And the interior is lined. It's lined in this printed nylon pattern, which is just cool to look at. I, I Definitely wish that it was a real cotton or a real tweed. It has four pockets, very signature of Chanel. So two on top that are unbuttoned, just slip pockets. And then two that are um, with the same button closure. And again, these are snap buttons. And believe me, I have used these buttons because I was just wearing this jacket earlier today. I had to run some errands and I looked really, really stylish with this jacket on and I already kind of know this jacket pretty well because I wore it all morning. The zipper pulls has the Chanel detail on it as well. And it opens like so to reveal this printed nylon lining. And uh, not so sure if it will help, but here's the style code. <laughs> so if you want to maybe try to hunt this down online, you can possibly find it. I know they came out with several iterations of this jacket. So some of them don't have this printed lining. It's just black. And uh, yeah, I mean, what can I say? The, the attention to detail, obviously, with luxury ready to wear is just on another level and um, it has even it even has this chain on the bottom of the jacket right and I even noticed another detail that was very very cute is even the back of the zipper right here it says Chanel 
Isn't that so incredible? This is effectively my third Chanel jacket and I love the fact that this one is very very casual so it's definitely something that I will get very much a lot of wear. So I will put it right here for the moment and we'll unbox my last item and then I'll style everything for you guys. So yeah, very excited about this jacket. Oh, and also I want to mention that um, I got a size 34 and um, it's not cropped, but the sleeves are cropped. It's good if you have short arms like me and um, it's definitely more boxy. It's very, very straight cut. Last but not least, we have got another pair of shoes. And um, why am I so animated today? I don't know. I just love styling clothes and I love buying things that I know I will get a lot of wear out of. Such as everything behind me and this as well. Oh, I hope anyway. I hope this is comfortable. So let's unbox this together. This is one of those super hard to get items. Of course, with Chanel, everything is super hard to get nowadays. <laughs> Sorry, it's in the dust bags. I guess my essay put it in the dust bags. And someone is texting me nonstop. Okay, let's review one side of this pair of shoes, which I cannot wait to wear. Um, it's just waiting for the weather to be very, very warm so I can wear this and be so cool because these are the very iconic and super coveted dad sandals. Yes, yes, I got my pair, finally. <laughs> and um, yeah, let me just get both sides and show you the whole thing. My essay remembered that I was uh, after these, but they were a size 37 and a half. And I heard that for these dad sandals that they do fit big. Um, but I just took the chance anyway. I thought, oh, they're open toe. Hopefully with the straps and everything, it will be fine. It doesn't have the C on it, which means that it's not the wide version because I know my, fr my friend Kat got the wide version. Therefore, she sized down and got the wide version and it works for her. But I just got the regular width and uh, in my true to size. And so, yeah, I love them. Uh, they are very, very cute on. I hope they are comfortable. I heard there is maybe a, a slight break-in period and I, uh, I'm not looking forward to that. But anyway, hopefully it's not too painful. It is caviar leather in black with this um, classic CC. It's all Velcro. I'll most likely just try this with my current outfit. I think with the black trims on my little shirt here, it works perfect. And also, um, you know, you can't go wrong with black. I know they have seasonal colors too and they have the seasonal um, decor, like the brooch can be different, but um, these are the most classic that you can get, gold hardware. I do want to ask if you guys resole yours or do you wear them for a while and then resole. Do keep in mind that we have very limited summers here and I can't wear these shoes all year round. so my wear and tear will probably be less than someone who lives in a tropical country. So yeah, do let me know what you think I should do with the bottom. And um, yeah, is it enough if I just do my my version of resoling? Like I can put that one layer of the anti-slip plastic and just see how it goes, maybe? Yeah, let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, it's time to sh try on everything. Let's talk about these sandals. I know they are dad sandals on its own it looks kind of ridiculous they are very big and heavy but on the feet especially in the summer it elevates the whole outfit like it's casual but it sort of gives you that coolness you know and of course Chanel Chanel does that oh it looks so good and um you know I wouldn't say that it makes my legs smaller but it kind of does and I already have big knees because of my inflammation and I still feel like it's it's really elevating my leg situation. <laughs> so I love, love, love the shoes. They do feel okay um, lengthwise. I feel like they are true to size, especially as I press down. I feel like the length of my toes, my heel, everything is in the right place. So I will say that they are true to size if you get the regular sizing. And this jacket, oh my gosh, this jacket is just 
insane. As I said, it's very simple on its own. It really is. But it's when you look at the details, the buttons, the little plaque here, all the quilting on it. Um, and you, of course, accessorize. Put some earrings on, some nice shoes on, a nice bag. This is my Gabrielle, my trusted Gabrielle, which I love. I feel like it works so well with the Gabrielle because they're both kind of on the casual, cool side. Oh, wow. I love it. Anyway, if you have similar style to me, I would say I uh, highly recommend this little crop top. Definitely one of my favorite. Also highly recommend this new one. See the color, so good. It's very flattering with uh, my skin tone. I also like this one a lot. Just, yeah, picture this one underneath. Again, it shows a bit of the belly button. From the past haul, I really love these two cardigans. This dress, this dress is really cute, uh, mainly for the color and the fabric. Uh, like I said, I could size down. If you like something casual, there's always this. Those were my favorite. I definitely feel that Urban Revivo excels at these tops. They do the tops so well, the fabric, the buttons, the cutting. If you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. And if you've been supporting me and watching me for a while, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You can also support me further by becoming a channel member. We have so much fun with our members, me and Kat. We talk about everything and you guys are just the best members out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week ahead of you and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!